fuck you do? What the fuck you do, Steve? You. What did I do? It's actually done this about five times, but this time it won't start. It's me. I didn't fucking well, do it. Do Watch out, don't. Gotta leave it when people blame you because they don't take care of their equipment. <laughs> I did a uh, service on this thing about a week ago and the, the oil on this thing was like two liters low. And basically he was complaining about the same thing that happened today. It shut down and it, it would take a little while to start again. Um, and I guess it ran okay for a little while and now it just did it again. I'm thinking maybe fuel pumps going out, but yeah. So we're gonna start at the fuel pump. <coughs> vacuum pump that's making too much noise so i'm gonna unplug that first all right so i'm gonna bump the starter just to see if the lift pump is running basically what you do is you go to start it you don't actually start it but you leave it in the run position and you should hear the lift pump for about 30 seconds so the lift pump's bad Truck. See what kind of nonsense he shoots at me this time. <laughs> Tell me it's my fault is the uh, fuel pump broken. The fuel pump's broken. Okay. Go grab a new lift pump real quick. I'll be right back. Here it is. Alright, let's get this party started. All right, so there's some uh, 5 16 or 8 millimeter screws on each side. There's two on each side, and the pump just comes out, and then you just replace it. Make sure that the, uh, the arrow is going in the in the right direction. It's pretty simple. Before I bolt this in. Let me ask you to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have any questions about mechanical work, uh, welding, electrical work, trailer work. Uh, leave a comment below. We'll do our best to respond to you. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Doesn't seem like it's getting fuel still. It might be electrical, maybe. Crap. All right, so we are back at the water truck this morning. Yeah, so we changed the lift pump out. I tested for the bad lift pump. Um, the lift pump was bad, but then once I plugged the new lift pump on, it's like it's not getting power. So I think it's a computer issue. And I have a feeling that it might be not grounding correctly. And so what I read up on was basically the computer grounds directly to the battery system. And possibly, just possibly, if the grounding system is no good, the computer won't run. So I'm gonna go through these battery connections that are on here and uh, hopefully that's the problem because um, I don't have a scanner for this thing. I have a buddy who might have a scanner, but I don't know if it'll do Cummings or not. So, I don't know. Let's see what we can do.
they thought by putting these batteries in there, because the battery says maintenance free, they didn't have to maintenance the whole truck. Buy these batteries, you'll never have to do another oil change in the lifetime of your vehicle. damage in here I'm just going to show you uh, just so I mean these guys do a number if, if you can't if you got rats that move into your vehicle they will destroy it um, the electrical I'll show you real quick so we literally just have rats nests and what they do I don't think you can see it you can see what they're doing over here they're just chewing nibbling on stuff he chewed up his whole, uh, I mean, this is his vacuum system, which I should repair because of his freaking uh, air conditioning doesn't work without this. Oh, your house is so clean. <laughs> 